What is up everyone? Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Chris, this is B-Minus Demos, and if this is your first time here, welcome. Thanks for coming to hang out. I hope you have a really good time. If you're returning, thank you so much for checking out my videos. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I know that sounds a little beggy, uh, and I'm fine with that, uh, but I, I love seeing that subscriber number go up. I genuinely get psyched every time I get a new subscriber. That's a new opportunity for me to interact with somebody and for me to uh, maybe help somebody, maybe teach somebody something, but also for me to learn something. There have been a lot of comments where someone said something and I was like, oh man, I never thought about that. And I learned from you guys as well. So I genuinely appreciate that. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video uh, going over some of the things that I didn't like about my Two Notes Opus. That's kind of the amp sim that I've been using. Um, it's a piece of hardware that has like a software remote control thing uh, that you can use. And for the most part, I love it. Uh, there are a few things that I don't like. And one of the things that I really kind of hammered on <clears throat> was their presets, particularly their non classic rock, non-blues rock, dad rock, blues lawyer kind of presets. Now, that may seem a little silly, but I think a lot of guitar players can look back and think about what got them into guitar. Maybe it was a particular guitar player or a sound. Maybe you just looked up to a family member who played, whatever it was. For me, it was a sound. And it was the sound of some of that mid to late 90s, early 2000s, punk rock, pop punk stuff that was coming out. I remember, I think I was like 12 years old, so this would have been like 98, 99, somewhere around there. Uh, a friend of mine showed up one day uh, with an MXPX CD, slowly going the way of the Buffalo. That had just come out. And uh, that was my first time ever hearing anything like that. Never heard anything like that before. And I was like, instantly obsessed with it. And then I remember not long after that hearing When I Come Around on the radio, and it was this very similar thing. And now all of a sudden I have these two bands that are doing something that I've never heard before. So for me, that sound, um, I don't wanna say I'm protective of it, but it just means a lot to me. So when I saw that the two notes uh, had a green punk uh, preset, I was like, yo, this is going to be so much fun. I'm going to be able to throw this on and just crank out some power chords and just have a ton of fun. And I put it on and it kind of sucked. Like I genuinely feel like the person responsible for creating this was given the task and they were like, hey, you remember that song you heard in the grocery store one time by a band named Green Day? And he's like, oh yeah, you know, like I think I kind of remember. It's like, we need a preset based on that. And he was like, cool, I got you. And then it was lunchtime and he just never got, like he started, but he never got back to it. Anyhow, all of that said, for the preset, yes, it's a starting point, but it should start a lot closer to where you're trying to end up. And this starts a mile away from even the starting line, much less the finish line. But it isn't a lost cause. I went through and with just a few changes with the stuff that's already in there, you can make this sound so much more like what they were kind of going for. For the intro song, I used the green punk uh, preset and I just made a couple of adjustments to it uh, and then I layered my guitars left and right and blah 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 all that stuff uh, but real quick I'm gonna go through some of the changes that I made and kind of show you guys how with you know five six seven minutes you can get a lot closer to where you're trying to go if this is what you're looking for so let's check that out okay so we've got the uh, preset pulled up here this is just stock the way they have it Um, this pickup is really hot, uh, and so that does sound a little bit better, um, but on something like my SG that has the P90s, uh, that sounds like a clean amp. Um, this pickup is really hot, so it does make a difference, but uh, I'm gonna leave the same cab, I'm gonna leave the same power tubes, same preamp, um, and we're just gonna make a couple of adjustments. So we're gonna start with the preset level, I'm gonna bump this up just a hair. Uh, volume is okay at 72. The only thing I'm changing, I don't like this 121 on here at all, so I'm gonna do just another 57. I'm gonna scoot it back in the room. 
20 something percent. I'm going to access to 50 something percent now. <laughs> You can still hear, you know, if on a song like uh, what's that, Brain Stew, I think there, there's this, these great harmonics um, as they're doing that walk down that I really love. Uh, and this just doesn't have that. So I turned off the reverb and pull the enhancer down to like 26%. That's fine. Uh, body, we're going to pull down to about 30 thickness. We're also going to pull down to. That's 28. Brilliance will go up 47. That's good. And automatically, just with those few changes right there, you've got a lot more harmonic content. Um, it opens it up a lot more. To me, it was super muffled, and I don't know why that was a choice they made. It was super muffled, um, and this automatically kind of opens that up a little bit. So, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this power amp volume. It was at 68%, we're gonna go up to 92. Uh, we're going to go over to the preamp gain and put that up 88, 90. Let's go to 90. Bass, we're going to go up just a hair to 45. Uh, mid, we're at 54. Let's go to, let's go to 65. Treble, 42%, which is a weird choice to me. We'll go to 65 on that too. <laughs> Now it's starting to really come alive and you've got these like actual kind of Green Day, MXPX, mid to late 90s, early 2000 punk sound. So that is so much better. I'm going to bring on the power amp, I'm going to bring the depth down to 45 and the contour right about 50. Um, and again, to me, this just kind of, this is a super woofy cab, this kind of Friedman style cab that they have on here is super woofy sounding and that doesn't scream, you know, like this style punk rock to me. Um, <laughs> So taking just a little bit of time, you can get really, really amazing sounds out of this. There is a little bit of hiss. I don't know if I've showed you guys how the gate works, but it's really cool. Just turn the gate on and then hit learn and it finds that hiss and it goes just to the level that it needs to go to to get rid of that hiss. <laughs> Probably should have looked up how to play these songs before I started doing this. But uh, yeah, there are amazing sounds in the Two Notes Opus. And I understand that this is just a preset, but I think for a preset, a starting point, I don't know why they started so far away. Like I actually would have started closer to this and then you could have tweaked from here and made little changes to make it a lot better. And now if this was a preset that I was actually gonna keep and play. I would change out the cab for sure. Um, I would switch to one of my own hammer cabs. But uh, this is, to me, it's so much better than it was. Uh, so yeah, there we go. You can, uh, with a little bit of patience, a little bit of time, and kind of understanding what some of this stuff does, which I'm learning more and more the more I use it, you can fix a lot of things in here that you don't like. All right, guys, listen, 
that's it for this week. I genuinely appreciate you stopping by, hanging out. You guys are awesome. Uh, I hope you all have like an amazing week. Later.